Hi folks, welcome to Two Guys in a Ride. It's minus 13 outside, so Nathan and I are sitting in this warm and comfortable 2019 Honda Odyssey Elite. So sit back, stay warm, we hope you enjoy the review, and come on, let's go for a ride. Honda introduced the Odyssey in 1994. It's now in its fifth generation, and its wheelbase has grown to 118 inches. The Odyssey comes in five trim levels, starting from 30,190 to 47,070. This is the elite version. This is the top of the line. Multi-reflector headlights are standard, and on the elite version, you also get high and low beams as well as LED fog lights. And on this vehicle, you also get an active front grille shutter to help with the aerodynamics. The Elite trim features chrome door handles, roofline spoiler, capless fuel filler, and LED tail lights. The LX and EXL and EX come with a 9 speed transmission, and the Touring and Elite trims come with a 10 speed transmission. I particularly like the floating roof design that Honda and other cars have gone to recently. It makes it look a little more streamlined. And I love the chrome strip running along the side and the little bit of swoop, if you will, in the cut and the sidelines on the trim. It gives a vehicle a sense of motion. And there's nothing wrong with being a little sporty with your minivan. And you can see the multi-angle rear view camera and the roofline spoiler that helps to keep the rear window cleaner and the rear wiper. We'll take a look inside. Cargo volume behind the third seat is 38.6 cubic feet. Behind the second row is 91 cubic feet. And behind the first row, there is a total of 155.7 cubic feet. Seating capacities range from seven to eight seats. There is a cargo light, rear storage well, the Honda VAC system is on the Touring and the Elite trims, and when all the seats are uh, stowed away or removed, you have a flat load floor that allows for a 4x8 sheet of plywood. I'll show you the Honda VAC system. It's right in here. There you are. Centralized vacuum. If you got kids, you certainly know how useful something like that is. Give you a quick shot of the inside of the vehicle. And, of course, power tailgate. Let that close. One other thing to mention about the rear tailgate is that it is a uh, height adjustable tailgate in case you've got a lower uh, garage ceiling. EPA fuel mileage ratings are 19 city and 28 on all trims. There's a 19 and a half gallon fuel tank. All Odysseys feature McPherson struts up front and compact multi-link rear suspensions with trailing arms. Wheel sizes are 18 inch across the board except the elite trim level and that comes with 19 inch machine finished alloys. All come with a compact spare tire. The remote key fob features lock, unlock, panic and remote start. And simply all you have to do to get in and out of the vehicle is have the key on your person, push the button, it will lock, push the button and hold it and it will lock and you can open up the car door. As you see, there are the turn signal indicators in the side rear view mirrors as well. All trim levels offer the same three and a half liter, 24 valve V6 producing 280 horsepower, 262 foot pound of torque with the echo assist system and variable cylinder management. The 2019 Honda Odyssey comes in five trim levels, the LX, EX, EXL, Touring and Elite. As standard on the LX model, you get Vehicle Stability Assist, Anti-Lock Brakes, Electronic Brake Distribution, Brake Assist, Daytime Running Lamps, Tire Pressure Monitoring System, a Multi-Angle Rear View Camera with Guidelines, 
auto climate control. A 160 watt stereo with seven speakers, including a sub that is Bluetooth capable and has a five inch screen with an eight way power driver's seat and a four way power passenger seat. Push button start, one motion 6040 split third row, an eco assist system, USB audio to plug your phone into, an auto up and down driver's window. Moving up to the EX trim level, we have dynamic guidelines to the rear view, rear view camera, a heated front seats, second row standard sunshades, the Honda Sensing Safety Suite, which includes collision mitigation braking system, forward collision warning, lane departure warning, lane keeping assist, blind spot monitoring and cross path detection, road departure mitigation, and adaptive cruise control. It has magic sliding second row seats that can move left or right with the middle seat removed. The new stereo includes an 8-inch screen and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It features smart entry with walkaway auto lock, remote start, a 12-way power driver's seat, and automatic high beams. Moving up to the EXL trim level, we get leather trimmed interior, one-touch power moonroof, two-position memory on the driver's seat, height adjustable power tailgate, memory linked side mirrors with reverse tilt down, home link, two USB ports in the second row. In the touring edition, we get the cabin watch and the cabin talk system, the rear entertainment system, front and rear parking sensors, LED fog lamps, LED headlights with auto on and off, a Honda VAC system, second and third row sunshades, a Honda link subscription, Hotspot capable. Moving up to the elite trim level, we add heated and ventilated front row seats, wireless phone charger, an 11 speaker 550 watt stereo system, including subwoofer, blue ambient lighting, rain sensing windshield wipers, multi zone audio, blue ambient lighting, and a heated steering wheel. Here we are inside the 2019 Honda Odyssey. We happen to be in the elite trim level, which is the top end trim level. I love the brushed aluminum trim piece right here, Nate. And it carries out, you know, through through this side and then again through here. I thought that was a really nice touch. Um, and then the just the very dark black trim along with that. And then the, the gray uh, leather is just a nice combination along with a darker colored dash. Very soft materials. Uh, Everything, you got a little storage underneath there. You've got perforated and heated and cooled uh, front seats. And you have those controls right here. That's heated and of course that's cooled. And the same thing for the passenger on that side. You do have a two position memory for the driver's seat as well as, I'll show you right here, a 12 way power seat, which includes a four way power lumbar. Lots of storage, again, over here on the driver's side. Equal amounts on the passenger side. Okay, down here you have your electronic parking brake set. And you have your brake hold function. Now that works when you're, uh, you're buckled up and the car is running. Uh, if you push and hold this, it'll activate an uh, automatic brake hold. So when you brake in traffic, you can take your foot off the brake and the car will remain braked until you touch the accelerator. And this is what turns that system on and off. Hey, up here you got your open and closed doors here. I do like the, the fact that you can shut those off. You got an automatic tailgate opener here. So down here you have your collision mitigation, um, part of the Honda sensing system uh, that you can turn on or off here. And then you have your road departure, where you can turn on or off here, your parking sensors and your traction control. Your steering wheel has uh, on a nice little control for the stereo volume there. You've got a back button, an enter button, a home key here, and then you've got your phone buttons. Here you have a voice command button. This will affect things like navigation and phone and stereo. Here you have your normal uh, turn, your lights and fog lamps. You've got your uh, windshield wipers. 
And then if we move over here for a minute, I want to spend a little time on this, and I'll just kind of briefly go over it. You know, it's an 8-inch screen. Um, the one nice thing about it, it does have a physical power and volume on and off. You got your climate controls here. You've got a front climate control, and you have your rear climate control. Okay, you can it's tri zone climate control, so you can um, set everything differently, or you can simply hit the sync button and put them all together. All right, then. If I come down here, you've got your park, reverse, neutral, and, and drive and sport mode. You do have the option with this to put it in a, if there's snowy, to use that for traction control system and an economy mode for driving. I, this, this what this here. does is turn, when you're um, at a stop, it'll turn your engine off to save power, to save gas, and then turn it back on again as soon as you step on the accelerator. Mention you have... A Blu-ray player for the rear entertainment system along with some power outlets down here and this one is like a household one down here excuse me there we go this was just a regular 12 volt and a nice deep pocket there for storage all right but here are some really cool things that are unique uh, to this and in addition to Apple CarPlay and Android uh, Android Auto you have, of course, rear entertainment control. Okay, you have something called cabin talk, which I've seen on other Honda models. But you could go through earphones or speakers. Um, this is. Um, I'm gonna turn the mic off for a minute. So you, if kids are listening to a, a movie or watching a movie or music or whatever on the earphones, it'll come right through, kind of like an airplane pilot talking. But here's where the Odyssey goes one step way further. So I'm gonna go back to home for a minute here and I gotta switch my screens to get to this one here. So here it is, cabin watch. And there's Rob sitting in the back seat. Right. Um, you can keep an eye on your kids in the back uh, with this. You can uh, change the settings a little bit as to what the camera picks up. Uh, but that is just way, way cool. I love that. Uh, the other thing that is really cool, um, and um, I'm going to have to have Rob use his phone here to film my phone. But I did something in here in the settings where I set my phone to control the radio and the, nav uh, the navigation and the media, uh, the media system in the back. So I downloaded an app called Cabin Control. Hey, I had to set it up uh, through the car's Wi-Fi. On the bottom here, you have a you have a menu: audio, social playlist, climate, and navigation and entertainment. So from here, I can control the rear screen. From here, I can control the climate in the back. So I just turned up the fans in the, in the rear. I can adjust the temperature in the rear. I can adjust the mode. I can turn it on or off. I can turn it to auto. I cannot control the front climate control. Okay, um, down here, I can suggest like Let's go to, uh, let's say, Minneapolis. So if you're like me, and sometimes your wife is getting directions, and so you say, well, just send me the address or text me. Well, if they're in the car and they're looking for it and they find it, they can do that, and then we'll see what happens. I don't know if you can get this screen in there too. But as soon as I send this, send a driver. Okay, so I just got a new destination. I hit start route and Garmin goes right to it. And plus Please it. drive to highlighted route. Thank you. We will end that. Hey, I can also um, go over here and I, I can control the audio. Playing from the rear entertainment system. So um, there isn't anything playing so it doesn't show anything but otherwise I could. Um, and I've got back here, I got the regular play buttons for the rear entertainment system. 
So that is just a really cool feature. So there is actually a remote that comes with the entertainment system. And that's right here. And there's a really nice little extra pocket in the seat back pocket on the passenger side where that can go right in so it isn't locked. Continuing with the uh, infotainment system here, um, one of the neat things is there, there, there's a, a part of it that's called, um, actually, I think there's actually, if you go into rear entertainment, you get the how much farther thing. So if you have a navigation route plugged in, the people in the back can actually see how much farther they have instead of asking every five minutes, how much further do we have to go? You can also decide that you don't want the kids to use the remote control, so you can disable that. So some, some pretty nice family-friendly features. All right, and um, you can, of course, control what's uh, put in for uh, an auxiliary input as well as your USBs. Yeah, nothing's connected to that right now, so it's not going to come up. But, yeah, so some really nice family-friendly features that I really like. Down here in the center console, there's a, a wide open area there, a nice flat tray, but you can pull this out and you have a two-bin cubby that you then can then tuck back in underneath. Moving on to the second row seats, the middle lever, if activated, will act as a recline for the second row or to bring the seat back of the seat forward. The middle seat, uh, if you pull the little lever right here, will fold down and become an armrest with three cup holders and a little bit of storage uh, in the back. What's most unique probably about this middle seat is that you can actually tilt it forward like this. Okay? And then if you grab onto it and pull it backwards, the third, or the middle seat comes out. Now what's awesome about this is that the other two seats are on a sliding track system. So you can take one seat, pull a lever and slide it back over to that side, or you can take the left seat and slide it over to the right seat. Okay? Or simply with the middle row removed, you now have a nice entryway into the third row. In the center console, uh, right by the second row seat, you have an HDMI plug-in, and then you have two 2.5 amp USB plug-ins. One of the nice features in this van is that they have a multimedia entertainment center in the back. So it's a nice sized 10.2 uh, inch screen, um, and you can, of course, control it via the app. You can use Blu-ray, you can plug in a, a, a hard drive and pull stuff off of that. Um, you can use Wi-Fi if you want. It's, it's the vehicle set up to have a, a, a Wi-Fi if you want to pay for that service. Uh, but they have wireless headsets. They also have an automatic temperature control system right in the back that they can physically control. All right, so in the third row, uh, you do have audio um, earphone jacks right here, a 3.5 millimeter. And you do have a, rot a rotary volume knob. So you can control your own volume um, and plug in your own headphones. You also have an air vent that's built right into here that you can control left, right, and up, down. And yes, there is warm air blowing out there. And then you have two cup holders on this side. And the opposite side is exactly the same, with the exception of the other side has a 12-volt power outlet. That's just right here. These, these can be reclined. Um, you simply need to pull on this rope and adjust it manually first to, to get the right angle and then let the rope go again. And then these, of course, adjust up and down. In the uh, Elite trim level, you get standard second and third row sunshades. So they just clip right in there or come down. You notice the heated back window back here. And that's because when the driver needs to look backwards, uh, they're going to be able to see through this rear window better. Okay. To set this up, you simply pull it all the way up and hook it. There's also some uh, hanging hooks to 
you can hang suits on or clothes on. So to exit the third row, you just grab this handle right here and give it a pull. And then push. And you have your way out. Alright, so we are taking off for a ride here on the 2019 Honda Odyssey in the Elite trim level. And get out of the parking lot first. I'll be doing good. <laughs> Boy, this is nice. So I just engaged the brake holding system this car has on it. So after I came to a stop there, I just took my foot off the brake and the van remained parked until, or braked, until I touched the accelerator. This comes with the whole Honda sensing suite of safety features. And they are currently all engaged and working, so I feel safe. Uh, this does the, um, come with a heated steering wheel. Which is nice. Oh, yay. We like we like those. Yes. The mirrors are power, power folding. The steering wheel is tilted telescoping manual. You know, one thing I've always noticed about uh, different minivans was when you ride in them, because there is so much uh, interior volume, that you, you sometimes get a lot of noise, a lot of booming sound. Uh, just natural, because you've got a big hollow space on, on tires. But I'm not picking that up. No, and you know, in the um, Elite trim level, they have added acoustic insulation in all the windows. Oh, okay. So, Keeps I originally out. thought it was just the windshield, but oh. no, it turns out it's also the other windows. So, yeah. Keeps the outside out and the inside in. Yep. It is great. This is, this is very quiet. But this has a 280 horsepower V6, uh, 262 pound feet of torque, and uh, yeah. And this one, the paddle shifters work nice. This is a nine speed transmission, very similar to, or the same as the, the Pilot. Honda, Honda Pilot. Yep, yep, the same as the Pilot. They have um, tweaked that transmission a little bit. There were some comments in the past couple of years when it was introduced that it uh, people didn't like the shift points. They have tweaked that and made that uh, far better than it was before. It's a very comfortable ride. I in particular like all the, the little comforts, the little nice things. And, and this, this thing has got a lot of bells and whistles on it. I, I could definitely go on vacation in this. Um, it's. You mean you could, like, so I, should I just bring you a sleep bag? <laughs> yeah, I could just go night, night, right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I could just hear the kids in the second row kicking and screaming, but if we pop in a DVD, they're going to be happy campers, 10, 10 inch screen back there. Uh, so, headphones and uh, wireless headphones and plug in headphones from the third row. They're going to be content and happy, and uh, I doubt they'll even ask us how much further. Yes, that could be true. Although, I always had a tendency to ask that no matter what was happening. <laughs> I just never wanted to leave home. So this does have the uh, blind spot monitoring, the cross traffic detection. That comes as part of the Honda Sensor Suite I mentioned before. And those indicators are back up in the uh, far front part of the door, right behind the mirror, where the mirror connects to the door, right in that area and they light up if something's in that area. Uh, the back of camera does have dynamic guidelines, so they will turn uh, and swivel as you bend the steering wheel. So you can see the trajectory of where your vehicle, where, yep. you'd be, where you would end up if you actually kept the wheel turned that way. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're gonna play red light and switch right. places. Red light? Isn't that what you, you said it was? Fire drill. Fire drill, Jeez, I old man. That. So now all I've got to do is put it in DS. Which drive we, DS. That, for Rob, that means drive stupid. We, we confirmed that in the previous video. Drive stupid. You know, one of the things I noticed when I opened the door yeah. is that there's courtesy lights at the bottom of the door. Oh, sure. So at night when you open up, you're going to have a little light there for your feet. Little puddle lights. Yeah. So let you see if there's a, as you're getting out, if there's a puddle or mud or ice or something like that. So it's nothing worse than hopping out of a vehicle, especially up us here again in Minnesota. You hop out of a vehicle, you don't know. You hit a little patch of ice, you're down on your, your oh, yeah. binders real quick. Real quick. Can't see. I can't tell 
then I'm in a minivan. I, you know, we've recently uh, we've reviewed uh, the, the Pilot, Ridgeline, the Ridgeline, the Pilot, uh, and then, a Mercedes, and, 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 and Insight, and a Mercedes. And uh, I feel like I'm driving a car. I don't feel like I'm in a minivan. All right. So, yep. So I'm sitting in the second row, and I can tell you the first thing I'm going to do is recline my seat a little bit. There we go. And I am going to put the center console down here because I like having an armrest. Boy, I mean, I've got, I didn't move my front seat and I've got, you know, four, four to five inches between my knees and yeah, the and that seat. That front seat's back quite a ways and you had uh, plenty of room up front. The temperature controls, the physical temperature controls are really easy um, to, to see and to get to. Uh, I like the air vents in the second row seats, especially because they, you can point them right at your legs and oh, your okay. face, and which is just, it's so nice. Um. Well, the, the vehicle handles extremely well. Again, we've established how much I'm in love with this heated steering wheel, but the driving, the uh, feeling the road, you feel a little bit of it, just enough that you're not detached from the road. But uh, the power steering is nice and uh, light. Uh, it's easily maneuverable. The vehicle, again, is quiet. It's extremely comfortable to, to sit in. I've taken it that the, the uh, second row seats are comfortable as well. They, they are very comfortable. The only thing I noticed, and, and this is typical of every, you know, sort of minivan that I've been in, the back armrests are just not very thick. And that, that's partly due because when they when they have to go backwards, they, you know, they got to fit within the, the framework of the vehicle. Oh, sure. Um, so well, it it's, you know, it's, it's, it's about an inch thick. So it's just not a lot to set your arm on. I yeah. wish, I do wish that would be a little thicker. And I've got uh, nice bolstered you, armrest yeah. up here. And Yours are. These are height yeah. adjustable as well. Yep. But, you know, back there, they are typically built for uh, kids, younger people. Yeah. No, I, I, I like it. It's quite comfortable, and you can uh, you can really recline this seat. Okay, that's as far back as it goes. That's maybe that's that's maybe a wee bit far back for me. Well, the nice thing well, is, you were saying earlier, say if you had a family of four, then you've got those that third row seat back there folded flat. You've got a lot of cargo space in well, this do. vehicle. I mean, that's what I, that's just kind of where I was going with this. I mean, you used to have station wagons, but. You know, this this is a fantastic vehicle. I mean, you've got, you take, I, I, you know, I would take out the center seat in the second row. You'd have a nice pass through. You can easily within, you know, uh, less than a minute, fold the rear seats down, third row down, to lay it flat to carry things. Um, so, yeah, tons of storage. Great for hauling pets around. I do like the fact, because I have pets, I do like the fact that the drive and park buttons are up on the console uh -huh. and not down on the floor, where I'd be worried one of my pets would accidentally step on park while I was driving. Well, another point then, hauling around pets and stuff like that, you have that central vac system, the Honda vac, that uh, yes. you're easy, it's easily to clean up after all the shedding and hair and all that stuff as yep. well. So. Well, folks, we've come to the end of our ride, and I uh, just want to remind you, please subscribe to our channel. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and do yourself a favor, get out there and take a ride. And then of course, you can you do navigation and things by voice command like this. Turn the fan down. Pardon? Turn the fan down. You can use your voice to control phone, radio, media, and navigation in your car. Now you'll hear an overview of the commands for each no. app you can interrupt at any time by... Right then, there. then won't they be asking how much further or more often if you disable their remote control? <laughs> they probably will. <laughs> you just have to ignore them, I guess. Lost. Hold on. <laughs> you can't do it with one hand, though. <laughs> See how quickly these doors open. You know, the nice thing is, it's like, you know, you know, so take a family of four. I mean, you, you used can't to have to do take... that. That's called kidnapping. <laughs> you can't. 
Oh, you're a family of four. I understand now. Okay. For example, <laughs> if I have to explain things really basically for <laughs> oh, Rob sometimes. Yes, sometimes. And crayons. <laughs> <laughs> Little crayon drawings. Oh, I think I'll find a nice safe spot to pull off the side of the road and let Nathan hop in the back to give us uh, an idea of how it is back there. Don't fall for it. He's <laughs> going to leave as soon as I leave. close the door. Yes.